Hi everyone, Dave from Geekanoids here. I've got a couple of products here, two in fact, from Hainal to show you. Photography related, I've got a carbon fiber tripod. This is the Triad 200 CF. And I've also got a BH40 ball head as well, which is gonna go on top of the tripod. So I'm gonna show you both of these. I'm gonna be mounting my camera on it and just showing you some of the features. Before I do so, the pricing, 109 pound for the tripod, $234 if you're in the US, which isn't too bad and the BH40, the ball head, 30 pounds if you're in the UK, or around about $50 if you're in the US. So let's have a little look at the ball head first, seeing as that's on top. Comes nicely presented, uh, fits standard tripod sockets. We've got a standard thread 3 8 inch attachment and a load capacity of up to five kilograms on this. And it does this smooth panning rotation as well through 360 degrees. So really nice um, sort of feature wise. And the pricing, normally ball heads can go upwards 200, 300 pounds for some of these uh, really expensive ball heads. So this is really reasonably priced when you think it's coming in at just 30 pounds. That's pretty impressive actually. So here we go. This is what the ball head looks like. And this is gonna mount onto the tripod here. We've also got this sort of release plate at the top. So we can take this out. You have to push in this sort of button on the side to release it fully. This attaches to the bottom of your camera and then it sort of just slots back in. I can just line this up, slots back in like so. And then that's locked into place and then you tighten it with this one here. We've got some extra sort of friction controls on the side. I'm gonna show you those in a short while. So that is the ball head. So let's pop that to one side. And now we're gonna have a look at the tripod. Now the tripod is carbon fiber. So the pricing for this tripod is again, pretty impressive for the price. So let's take this out. Now I love Hanel products because they're always very reasonably priced and yet they do offer up some really decent quality as well. Let's just take this out of the box. Nice packaging, very, very sort of simple packaging. Now, we've got a case, so it comes supplied in a case with a shoulder strap. There's a little bit of padding on there as well. So that's cool. Let's unzip this and take the tripod out. Pop the case to one side and we are straight in. I just dropped something, no worries. So it does actually come supplied with a head on it already, as you can see. We've got this head already installed. Let's just uh, take this out like so. Now, you can see here, we've got uh, some sort of uh, extending legs on the side here. Nice quality carbon fiber. These lock down really nicely as well. On the end, we've got no spikes. These are just normal sort of feet on the end. Not a problem. Let's just uh, pop this up to a reasonable height. So I'm just gonna extend two of the legs on each side like so, just extend these down, lock them back into place. Let's do this one, extend these down and lock them back into place. There we go, these are really nice and firm as well. So they've done a really good job on that. We've also got a little hook here as well. A lot of people ask what these hooks are for. Well, some people use them to put bags on for putting utilities, etc., in but really this is a weight bag. So what I would do with this is if I was in a, a really sort of windy sort of situation, I would put a, a bag on the bottom here and fit it with stones, for example, and that would give some real weight to this and some extra stability. Okay, so this is all set up properly now and the handle that dropped out was actually this one. So I've actually just re-screwed that back in, that sort of dropped out in transit. But let's get the camera on to the top of this tripod. And this is with the supplied head. So we've got like a quick release plate on the bottom of the camera I've just sort of screwed on and it just slides on like so. And then we can tighten this up on the side so it's nice and firm. So there we go, that's actually on the tripod. And then what we've got here is obviously a 360 degree rotation round like so. And then we can also obviously tilt the camera up and down. And on this one, we can go into sort of portrait mode, landscape mode, and then tighten this back off when we're at the right position. Now the 360 degree rotation, we've got an additional little sort of tightener here. 
So we can tighten this up and that locks that into place. So really, really sort of easy to use tripod. We've also got an additional little turny bit here. If we turn this out, the central column can be extended up and down like so. So we can extend to extra height if we want to, or obviously put that back down into position. That's quite tight, that is. But there we go. And these legs also can angle out more as well. We've got little buttons on the legs. So this is in its most upright position. We can push these in and actually give the legs a sort of a, a less acute angle on here as well. So that's what it looks like with this head. And then we've obviously got the BH40 head as well. So let's pop the camera onto that BH40 head and give you a look at how that works. Okay, so I've removed the included head, the one that comes with the 200 CF tripod. And what I will say is this head is great for video work because we've got the panning ability, but you can use it for photography as well. The BH40 head that I've put on now, so this one here, is primarily designed for photography. So you're gonna lock your camera into a certain angle, certain position, take the photo, move the camera, take the photo, etc. Of course you can use it for video as well, but you're not gonna use this for panning shots because it doesn't offer up that feature. So let's have a look at the features. First of all, we've got this control at the top here, little wheel. We turn this round, we push the button in on this side and we can use the quick release feature. So the camera removes and then we just reverse that, click it into place and then lock it down. And that is it. So quick release, really good. Then we've got two extra controls here and here. This, this front one, just loosens off the friction for the rotation. So we can go through 360 degrees to position the camera without moving the tripod. And then when we want to lock that down, we just sort of lock that back up and we've got a nice firm uh, position on the camera. And then we've got this one here. And what this does is it releases the ball joint inside. So once we've released this, the camera will move around all different angles, etc. And then if I just pan this round a little bit, so let's just uh, move this round to this position and we'll lock this back down. You have to excuse me disappearing behind the camera. Then we're gonna release this again. So again, we've got this same sort of movement on the camera, but we can go down to this angle. So we can go down into portrait mode. And again, turn that wheel at the back now and we're locked into position. This is a fantastic ball head. I really do like this for a couple of reasons. One, very, very simple to operate. Two, some ball heads give you so many features that you're never ever gonna use. And this one offers up everything. 360 degree, quick release plate, the really easy to release and tighten up uh, ball head as well. And it just works. And the price, brilliant price. I told you the price at the beginning of the video, the ball head, 30 pounds or $50. So that in combination with the 200 CF tripod gives you a very reasonable price package that's gonna offer you up a three-way sort of tilting pan head for video work and photo work. Add to that the BH40, you've got a great ball head for photography work. You've got a lightweight tripod with the 200 CF, so everything you're gonna really need to do both video and photo work with your camera. Now don't forget this supports up to five kilograms of weight on the ball head. The tripod will probably support a little bit more than that. Brilliant combination, so well worth checking out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I certainly hope it's helped you sort of maybe explore different possibilities and different tripod combinations. Hanel are a great make and I really do rate them highly. So please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.